Hello everyone, I'm Jandy Univorete and I'm taking Industrial Engineering at Bataan Peninsula State University. So today I will teach you some non-locomotor exercises. So let's go! Sheesh. First, we need to wear a proper outfit. Before we start, I'll give you some idea what is non-locomotor. Non-locomotor skills are the body's movement that does not involve movement from one place to another. It involves movements around the axis of the body. It includes actions such as pulling, bending, twisting, pushing, stretching, raising, and flexing. Next, don't forget to stretch before exercising. Why? Stretching is crucial during exercises it enhances flexibility, improves joint range of motion, and reduces the risk of injuries by preparing muscles for activity. It also promotes better blood circulation and helps optimize overall athletic performance. So here's the first exercise. Stand with one foot forward and the other foot extended behind you. Bend both knees lowering your back knee toward the ground. Keep your front knee directly above your ankle. Hold the lunge position for 20 to 30 seconds on each leg. Next, start in a push-up position with your forearms on the ground. Keep your body in a straight line from head to heels. Hold this position for 20 to 60 seconds depending on fitness level. Lean your back against the wall and slide down until your knees are bent at a 90 degree angle. Keep your back flat against the wall. Hold the wall seat for 30 to 60 seconds. Before continuing exercise, take a rest and drink water. After that, stand with your feet hip width apart. Lift one foot and place the sole against the inner thigh of the opposite leg. Balance on one leg with your hands and prayer position at your chest. Hold for 30 seconds to 1 minute, then switch legs. After that, Stand on one foot with the other foot slightly off the ground. Try to maintain your balance for 30 seconds on each foot. Progress by closing your eyes or performing balance exercises on an unstable surface. Last, we need to cool down to help gradually lower your heart rate and ease your body from a higher intensity to a resting state. This can prevent dizziness and reduce the risk of injury by allowing your body to recover in a controlled manner. Additionally, it aids in preventing muscle soreness and stiffness post-exercise. I hope you like my video. Thank you.